live from deep from the heart of West Texas. This is Frontline News with Grant Clark. Here's your host extraordinaire, Grant Clark. Hey guys, y'all hear about that champ that's going all around the country? Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> you got three of the top ten songs in this country have that title. The mood of the country is swift. It's, 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 it's shifting. I think the pop culture can go with that as well. Well, I got I to gotta say this, okay? It's about time. Now, at least for today, the next few days, I might be doing a little bit more editorializing. And you have to forgive me. Now, I know um, a reporter from the... Uh, like was said, NBC Sports said that the crowd was chanting, let's go Brandon. What they were saying was, blank Joe Biden. I'm not going to say a cuss word on the air, okay? Um, rules are, you know, you know, this is the same thing with J.R. James Hendrick and Power. You do your best not, not to curse on the air. It's, it's unprofessional, Okay. That's our standard here in West Texas. So, listen to me. <coughs> Mainstream media is playing us for fools. We as patriots, we're not going to sit there and take that. We're not going to sit there and take it. What's one of the mottos of this network? Don't just sit there and take it. You build your dreams so you can take it. Now, I haven't witnessed what... Uh, has been seen across, you know, with empty shelves and the like in America. I was in the grocery store earlier this month, and <laughs> yeah, like everybody else, I felt the shit sticker shock. I was in Market Street. <laughs> <You know. laughs> buy local instead of buying <laughs> global. Come on, guys. Now, watch this. Yeah, we all have a supply chain problem. You know what? When you do something about it, stop this this uh, vaccine uh, mandate thing, okay? Now this is this is getting at, way out of hand. They're saying, "Oh, the seniors should get the booster." Now everybody should get the booster. <laughs> no, this is propaganda, and we Americans, we don't have to stand for it. Now, I know what I'm going to do is, is, is going is to piss some people off. But I'm going to say this. It sounds more better than Nazi Germany or Saul's Gulag, what Joe Biden's doing. And, you know, the, the GOP, and I'm one of the best, there's any attorney general in this state, uh, in any states, including this state, Texas, that's going to sue the pants off the Biden administration for the, the vaccine mandate. Now, listen to me. If you're informed by your doctor you should take the vaccine, then use prudence, okay? I'm not negating that there ain't there ain't such a thing as a health problem, but come on. You think some informed Americans don't can't tell what propaganda is when they see one? Hey, that's what's going on in the mainstream media, folks. Alright? Just for that, I'm gonna see if I can uh, Find a good news story to, to kind of finish this editorialize here. Here's one from AMAC. Okay, that's an or, that's a organization. It's kind of like the conservative equivalent for AARP, which I think if you're 50 and older, older you should, and you're and you're a patriot and you care about this country, you should join. His tax plan, infrastructure plan, plan. Guess what? They're failing before Congress. No, nobody wants to touch it. Nobody wants to touch it. They're like, uh, hey. They know they're running with fire, okay? You you got uh, people sitting in the, the college stadiums. Uh, in a sports game, but there's no action. What are they doing? They're chanting, let's go, Brandon. Or some are even ch chanting, uh, blank Joe Biden, which I'm going to be honest with you. I don't advocate for that. All right, we can voice 
our strong disapproval of what the president says we, we may feel that way. But let's have some civility, okay? This is like a... My friend JR says, let's stop the hating. Let's stop the class divisions and all this. Come on. We used to be a country that rolled together. Looked out for one another. But look, we've been... We've been mind-numbed. We've been mind-numbed robots. And we as people, we, we can't... I'm sorry, we can't just sit there and... Take it from our reactive culture. <laughs> Won't you think about his power grabs? Biden's power grabs are going down. People know it. Because what he's doing... Is impacting Main Street. Here, here's an article coming up pretty soon for you. Okay, Pence is slamming Biden on Newsmax, calling what he's doing, you know, wanting to pay uh, immigrants 150k and comprehensively. It is. Come on, what, what have we got going on here, okay? Communist Russia. So, so, so some of the libs are chanting, let's go Brandon. How about our brand of let's go Brandon? Those of you from Texas, I'm about to say this. How about we say let's go brand him? As in, or as, as in Biden. As in Obama. As all these people that have been involved in class divisions for decades. I know what I'm going to say is going to, going to piss people off, make people mad, but it's got to be said. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Any Brandon out there that's a patriot, willing to stand up for what's right and wrong. Because the American people, you can't blame them. They're fed up. They're tired of hearing news lines, stories, and headlines that they can't do nothing about. And they want to do something about it. All right? You can't be, be played fools. You gotta think. The, the the ratings among the mainstream media have got to be low. And the ratings for Newsmax have got to be on betting high. Now Fox News, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have an objective opinion of them. Uh, both of their commentary are saying, I'm not gonna play that game. But listen to me. Let's picture in our mind a Brandon that's a patriot, okay? Maybe he died in Afghanistan or Iraq. Or maybe he's alive. Maybe he's disgusted with what's going on in this country. Can't take it no more. He's fed up. He's fed up with Stalinized, Keynesian, socialized economics that's going to burn us to the ground. We hope you enjoy listening to Frontline News. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and receive almost daily updates. This is Frontline News saying until next time, be sure you take care and be proactively informed. Oh, and by the way, Let's go, Brandon. <laughs>